Devotional service does not depend on any color, caste, creed, religion, or age. No, I'm working on something I could not give the class. But even though the pro I'm not giving the class, the Matajis are discussing Sastra. A very good example that even Matajis can just sit down together and talk. It's not that necessarily a Prabhu is required. <laughs> This is the example. Uh, Mataji should not be waiting that oh, there's no Prabhu, you know, let's just talk nonsense. No, they are discussing Sastra. So I went for re renewing my passport, and while I was waiting, there was another Canadian there. He's uh, Irish, actually, origins. He was talking to me about his life. He served as a soldier in many different uh, regiments throughout the world, and uh, you know, he killed people and all, and uh, he got uh, shot also. He, he told me that he was declared twice dead in the hospital. That means the subtle body has left the gross body twice. And now he has cancer stage three. So he's in great pain, basically. He's suffering a lot. As we were talking, he was taking some uh, morphine, you know, painkillers. And he told me he strongly believes in God. Every morning he wakes up and uh, does a prayer, you know, to the Lord. He simply wants to do good for others. And then I put the argument that uh, if we do not know what good is, how can we know if we're doing good or not? which uh, Prabhupada ha has also uh, said many times. True help has to be done situated in knowledge. If we do not know what we are, then how can we know if we are truly helping others? Real help can only be done on the platform of the soul, spiritual platform. We must know that we have been forced to take birth in this material world. It's a fact. None of us has chosen to. We can see that some people are born poor, rich and this. So what is the cause of this uh, situation? Uh, we have been forced to accept a certain situation, a certain body and live according to it. So how to help the person not having to go through this uh, forcing process of taking birth and death? That is real help. Since he's, he, he has killed many men in his life, he used to have a lot of remorse and nightmares and all of that. So he says that now he's not getting these anymore. So he can sleep peacefully and to him that is the highest. So I told him that uh, swans are very peaceful. That doesn't mean that they have achieved the highest. If there is something higher than that, if you have not experienced, how can you say that this is the highest? And I was thinking, wow, such a life that he had. I mean, so intense, you know. From very young, he had you know, so much uh, uh, misery he's had. We'll see if we can do anything for him. So this is considered advancement of civilization. Here we are. How advanced we are. The destination of this train is Tianhe Coach Terminal. Modern civilization claims to be advancing. But this is the effect that all these cars and factories have on our world. This is a day in Guangzhou. This is not fog, this is pollution. Visibility is uh, not more than uh, about two kilometers. So, China claims to be very much advanced in economic developments, but they are managing to ruin the air of a complete country.
This is demonic. They do not know what ought to be done, what ought not to be done. And whatever they do is simply meant for the destruction of the world. That's a plain fact. showing you how we are uh, taking pictures of the books in other words scanning them and then processing them through a program in order to facilitate uh, OCR processing optical character recognition with this camera here and a setup like this one so we need a lot of light like this we zoom in and we make sure that we keep a black border all around that's for the program to scan and then with uh, a remote like this as you can see there's a device here that helps me take picture you see I can zoom in zoom out and I can take the pictures so simply I hold like this and then I press and that's one page so after having taken all the pictures and transfer them to the computer. This is a further step we can take. It's basically to change the contrast. As you can see, the text is there. And like this, it becomes much more uh, prominent. Although it is clear, um, if we apply the contrast, you can see the characters are coming out. We then use this program called Book Sorber. So we create a new project with the pictures that we have already edited. Then this program will automatically detect the boundary of the pages. In this way it will separate, as you can see now, the red line. The page boundary has been selected. It will enhance the clarity of the text and separate both pages in two different pictures. So after the processing is done in that program, what we have is a PDF output and some JPEG images. You can see this is the output in PDF. So what it gives us is basically a PDF that can be read, but still it's not editable. It's still pictures, you see. Although it is quite good quality, as you can see, the characters are very clearly defined. So we're going to be using these images into another program to recognize each character and put it into an editable format. The program we'll be using is Fine Reader, as you can see. So now we'll do a new task, convert to a Word document. So we'll put English and Chinese traditional. So it is now reading and recognizing all characters. So here we have the Word document, which is editable. As you can see, it has scanned all the characters, so we can now write. But there are many mistakes, as you can see here, a triangle. One devotee will have to proofread all of this and make sure that all characters are okay. Every Wednesday evening, we give a specific topic class. So today's topic was uh, the importance of protecting women. We thought of this topic because uh, about 80% of people attracted to Krishna Consciousness in China are women. So we made a nice uh, advertisement like this that we uh, shared the logo of our class in the application, a QR code to scan and the name, uh, perfect question, perfect answer and the topic here, the importance of protecting women. So we just finished the class. Even though uh, my wife is quite tired, we gave a one hour and a half class. As you can see here, 101 people uh, 
have clicked on the link, so listening to the class. It's very nice, uh, those classes are becoming more and more popular and the audio is all stored so they can uh, listen to it whenever they want. So I'm very happy to have this preaching tool. So that's it. Thank you.